Honda hit your hooks. Invisible DFS. Let's talk FanDuel NBA basketball for the slate of January the 18th, 2021. All right, guys. So basically, we have two days before the new president come back. I mean, not come back, but uh, get into office where well, two days in the wake up, I guess. Anyway, let's talk about the NBA slate uh, for the Sunday slate just started. Uh, of course, a uh, game get cancelled, postponed, or cancelled. That's basically what we're gonna get this NBA season. A lot of games gonna get cancelled, but as long as we get at least two games, I'm happy. I'm all good for it. All right. So uh, for Monday, we have a full game slate. We have some good games. We have Milwaukee against Brooklyn, so we get to see Arden again. We found uh, this time it is in the main slate. Uh, we're still waiting to see if Kyrie is going to come back. We have Dallas and Toronto. We just saw Dallas. Uh, they lost. Uh, most likely, Pozeng is going to be out. It's a back-to-back. -back. I, I, I mean, I don't see anything on it, but I'm just uh, saying because he just got back and it's a back-to-back. -back. I don't see I, I don't see any reason for them to play him. Of course, there's a reason to try to win the game, but... Uh, for his long health, I think that's the best thing to do. And then you have Houston, Chicago. Chicago is the team that just beat Dallas. So, uh, Houston, Chicago. And then we have Golden State and the LA Lakers. LA Lakers has been destroying teams. So, uh, we'll see if that's continue. All right. So, let's break down uh, the slate as far as point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. When I'm looking at the uh, point guard position, of course, uh, let's go to the point guard. You have Luca. You have to start with Luca here, man. He went off, had like 50 fantasy points the first half, but the game wasn't really that close for him to stay and play the entire game. So it should be good to go tomorrow. I do like him. Um, He's going to have to do a lot, even with, uh, especially if Pozing is out. I think if Pozing is even better, but uh, I was surprised to see them lose to uh, the uh, Bulls. Uh, um, but definitely Luca is one of my top three uh, players today. Of course, it's all I have to do with salary. The, I only make one team. I usually make one team before I make the videos, and Luca is not in it. All right. And, and another player I'm looking at is Joe Holiday uh, at 7.6K against Milwaukee. I mean, against Brooklyn. Uh, I like Joe. Uh, Joe is the type of player that can do a little bit of everything. So I always like those kind of players. So give me some Joe here at 7.6K. Uh, I do like uh, Kalar here. Uh, I, White, I want to like White. I actually like him. But the fact that it is between Lowry and Joe Alida, it's going to be hard for me to play him. But I do like him here. I just like Lowry and Joe Alida better. Just because you like a player better, that doesn't mean you cannot play the other player because you never know. He could end up outscoring both of those guys so that's why sometimes you have to take those chances uh you i mean like of course in your pool is if the other guy is like 20 30 percent then you can have him as five or ten percent just to have a little bit of him so uh yeah larry though at, against dallas i definitely like him i think larry could definitely be in the winning lineup here uh i expect him to hopefully can get 40 plus points here so Give me some Larry here. Uh, as far as the Dallas game, we don't know who's going to be in, who's going to be out. So uh, uh, hopefully uh, they get some more players uh, in to help out Luca because it doesn't matter how good you are, you need help. It's a team game. Uh, like I said, Colby why I didn't like him for the early Sunday slate, but I do like him here. It's just that it is uh, between those two guys that I like a little bit better. Then it's shorter. Uh, against golden state at 6k i don't mind the price uh, yeah that's all i have to say man i don't mind the price trey Burke, i actually like him i expect him to be better than he was uh today so at that price 4.3k if he is starting or coming off the bench if some of those guys are still out like a bronson and uh Hardaway jr give me some trey Burke here so uh uh one play I didn't talk about here, it's all the way up, that's Curry. Curry against the Lakers, uh, 9.8K. I'm not sure if I'm really going to play Curry, but Curry is one of those guys. Uh, it doesn't matter who the matchup is, even the Lakers. 
he gonna do his thing. But the thing about it, uh, for with what I wanna do, with, uh, I don't know if Kerry is one of the players I, I want to go to. I think I already go look out here and uh, go or go down to even the Kyrie if Kyrie is playing. All right, so uh, if Kyrie is playing, I do like him uh, at that price. But uh, but my top three guys is definitely Luca, uh, Drew Holiday, and Kyle Lowry. So now with that saying, I really really want to go with uh, uh, Lowry here against Dallas. But I love uh, Drew Holiday, so I have to decide it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with. Oh, I love Drew Holiday a lot. But I'm gonna go uh, Lowry here uh, against Dallas. All right, so let's jump to the shooting guard, and we're gonna start with, of course, Arden. He went up last game. He was in the main slate. Uh, I do like him at that price with Kyrie or without Kyrie. Uh, Zach Levine. It's gonna be hard for me to play him. Uh, most likely, I would rather play Van Fleet or even Ola Depot or even Wiggins. Uh, so James Harden, one of my top three shooting guards for the slate. And then I would jump with Ola Zippo here, especially if Wall out. I love Ola Zippo. His first game, I think, gonna come with a bang in this game. And uh, when Fleet again against Dallas, they're gonna need scoring. Uh, when Fleet, it's definitely gonna get minutes, gonna get uh, to do his thing. So give me some Ben Fleet here. But I like Ola Zippo a little bit better than Ben Fleet here. Wiggins, 6.7k. I don't mind going there. Events against the Lakers. Wiggins always have a reason to go against James, um, but eh, the Lakers, man, it just, it's going to be hard. So, uh, if Sterling Brown is playing and starting, I will definitely get me a little bit of Sterling Brown, but uh, Norman Powell is the guy I like here as far as when it, if I had to choose between uh, THT, uh, Sterling Brown, and Norman Powell, definitely Powell would be the guy. Uh, but Mark Lemore, I know he had a decent game. I'm not feeling the same about him. If Jones get the start, then give me some Jones here. Um, but Norman Power definitely is the guy I'm mostly looking at around those prices. I'm hoping Jerry came back because that price is just too good. If Jerry came back, give me some Jerry. He'll be one of my favorite play for the slate. Now, who am I gonna give you? Give you guys is. Oh, I don't know what that was. Is uh, Ola Zippo. Okay, let's jump to the small forward position here. The small forward position. You are KD. His price finally starting going up for good reasons. Uh, oh, I wish he was cheaper than LeBron James or even Siakam. Well, he, was, he wouldn't be cheaper than Siakam. But... You're gonna have to choose, man. I do like KD. It's a, gonna play Giannis, and I think KD on his mind think he's better than Giannis. I think he's better than Giannis myself. So KD at 10.5, I don't mind him. Uh, I I don't know how much I'm really going to play him, but he's definitely one of the top five at the position. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to choose uh, to go. Most likely, that's one of those positions you might not mind going expensive with KD here. And then you have uh, Pascal Siakam could be a popular player at 8.2k. I believe the price went down. Melaton against Brooklyn. That's a team that's going to score a lot. Both teams. So that's, uh, I wouldn't mind going there at all. Uh, but I do like OG here at that price. So uh, OG is one of the guys I'm looking to play I, I have to play two small forwards so OG most likely will be one of my most popular player at the position if El Golden come back I don't mind if uh, Tate start again I don't mind going there I like his game but another cheap guys I can go here with is Harris all right especially if uh, if uh, oof, Kyrie doesn't come back so I don't mind Harris here uh, tempo for some reason decided to went off. He has been playing good. So if you want to go there, you can do that. Me personally, I'm not looking to go with tempo. Uh, I'd rather go with Joe Harris here. And uh, that's basically it as far as the position. Uh, out of all those guys who I really want to play, he'll be Joe Harris here. Uh, a little bit of Tate Porter. Uh, 
Kelly Oubre, I, I don't even mind going there. I think that price is actually a cheap price for him. I know they're playing the Lakers, but I don't mind. But definitely, uh, the guy I'm looking is Harris, uh, OG, Midi, Siakam. Uh, of course, always a LeBron James here. Yeah. The thing is, is the blowout at that price. Uh, LeBron James, still average 45, even though he hasn't been playing, as many minutes as he usually play. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with OG here. Uh, I really wanna go with Milton or KD, but I'm gonna go with OG here. Uh, and then let's jump to the power forward position uh, when you have a lot of guys that I want to put in my lineup, starting with Giannis here. He going against KD. <sighs> I'm glad they're not in the same position because I don't know if I would be able to go with Giannis if KD and Giannis was uh, powerful or small forward and then with that price, I would definitely go with uh, KD over him if they're in the same position, but they're not. And at the powerful position, there's a lot of things I can do. You have Lori McKinnon here, 6.1K, I do like. Uh, I'm going canceling out Porzingis, I think he's going to be out if, if he is playing. 6.9k, I wouldn't mind going there, but I don't think it is, man. Uh, 8.1k with Chris Boucher, that's enough you know, for me as much as I want to play him. If uh, actually Chris Boucher has been good, but that's enough you know, for me. I'd rather go with Davis here, or oh, actually Christian Hood here would possibly be my favorite at the position as far as the top prices. I do like marketing. And then also, I like German Green going with, against the Lakers. Jim Johnson, I think, might get a start here. And even Patrick Williams has been decent. I don't mind going there. So those two guys are the two guys out in my plane. Kuzma has been benefiting from those blowouts. So uh, if you're not going, you can go to. But I would talk as another guy. I wouldn't mind taking a chance here. But who am I going to put in the lineup? Uh, let's see I got six minutes so I got the money to go on top if I want to I really like log market in here uh, but I think I'm gonna go with uh, oh do I go Davis here it's hard to go a uh, cushion hood over Davis you know especially the last game if you want somebody in the last game then go with Davis here it's good to have somebody in the last game so for right now I'm gonna leave it like this check give you guys the center then come back uh, based on what I do, the center might gonna dictate what I do. Uh, but to be honest, uh, the center I only have, uh, based on the lineup I created, I only know who I want to have. And that's possibly uh, when they'll call it. There is no really great center for the slate. This is like one of those slates you, you don't really see that much. But definitely, uh, when they'll call it, is the guy that came come to mind when I'm thinking about the center here. Book Lopez has been better lately, so if you want to go there at 5.3k, and I, I wouldn't mind, or will the first I play him for the first time today in the early month, Sunday slate. Oh, he did me wrong. And John Drew Jordan, hopefully he got some rest and ready to go. 4.5k, give me some John Drew Jordan. When they'll call it, and Jordan, my two favorite player uh, at the position for the slate, then uh, a little bit of Book Lopez here. And uh, Montrezo Callistein in that order. Uh, the Marcus Cousin is coming back, should be good to go. But uh, 4.5k, I don't mind actually taking a chance on him at all. But uh, I think I'd rather go Giangre here against. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather go with Giangre here. Why they don't put. Uh, oh, Book Lopez, never mind. Book Lopez as in descent against Brooklyn, DeAndre doesn't really play defense no more. Well, so you can go with Book Lopez here if you want. But based on what Wendell Cardell has been doing, I'm going to go ahead and put him in there. And then I'm going to go back to the power forward position and just go ahead and put Davis in there. I didn't put him in my initial lineup that I made, but I do want somebody in this late game. So Davis is going to be that player. Okay, so I have Lowry, Oladipo, OG, uh, Davis, and Wendell Carter. All right, guys, that's basically it. I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to try to be online every, before, like, 30 minutes.
45 minutes prior to, before the game started so uh, make sure you uh, check me out and uh, please drop a like subscribe turn on your bell notification and uh, just know I appreciate you guys for coming to Good luck. And hope you guys have some good fun.